Hello Camels, my name is Jenna and I'm Abigail. My name is Connor and I'm Beckett and we're here to bring you the CCHS news. Hey Camels, the snowball dance has been rescheduled to Sunday, February 20th. Everything is at the same time and same location. Ask an administrator for any questions. CCHS news, the polar bear plunge took place on January 29th of 2022. Mr. Harden's gross motor class had 20 participants. It was 14 degrees and the water was colder than 32 degrees. There were 12 students that raised over $300 and two students that raised over $1,000. Overall, they raised $6,983, placing them as the fifth best fundraising team in all of Northern Kentucky. The following students participated in this year's Polar Bear Plunge. Maddie Arman, Abigail Bartels, Alex Collins, Jenna Geese, Emily Hammond, Carly Hofstetter, Caleb James, Maddie Kramer, Riley McKinney, Ashley Mesmer, Ashley Perkins, Hannah Schultz, Kaylee Snowball, Ella Stahl, Lexi Turner, Emily Walter, Patricia Verst, Connor Gunn, Megan Ward, and Colton Peebles. Great job, everyone. Two CCHS students were able to raise over $1,000 each this year for the Pole and Plunge. And recently, the media communications classes interviewed Mr. Harden and two of the students. We're here with Coach Harden, uh, and Coach Harden, recently you did a fundraiser called the Polar Plunge. Uh, what was that all about? So the Polar Bear Plunge is an annual fundraiser for Special Olympics, benefiting all athletes in Northern Kentucky and greater Cincinnati area. Okay, that sounds very interesting. Uh, how much money did you raise in total for this event? So we had a team of about 21 students uh, that are all here at Campbell County, and we raised just under $7,000. Wow. I'm Rebecca here with Kaylee, and today she's going to share her story about how she raised $1,013 for the Polar Bear. Recently we did the fundraiser for the Polar Bear Plunge, and I raised around $1,000. We each individually had raised $75 to register for the Polar Bear Plunge, and that is just a fundraiser for the Special Olympics. And the way that I raised so much money is just posting it on Facebook and having a bunch of my family and friends contributing, which was very appreciated. Hello everyone, joining us is Miss Ella, and Ella, I want you to tell us a little bit about your story uh, of how much you raised for the Polar Plunge and how you went about doing that. Alright, well I raised, if you include the $20 in cash donation, I raised $1,246 for the Polar Plunge, and I basically just like asked my friends, asked teachers, I asked my family, I asked my church, my soccer coach, um... My mom asked friends at her work, and they kind of shared it on social media, so kind of got around that way. Little crowdsource funding kind of yeah. thing. Very good. Well, great job. You did so where did the job. event take place, and like, what was it? So this year, the Polar Bear Plunge took place at the Banks that were in Cincinnati, right at the Red Stadium. Um, you know, this year, I've been participating in the Polar Bear Plunge now for eight years, and this by far was the coldest year. It was when uh, I showed up at 9 o'clock, there were... They were breaking the ice on the pool and scoop, scooping the ice out. Um, it was about eight degrees. And uh, we had 17 plungers this year. Um, and they all, some of them went in all the way under and they got their hair wet and it was a cold morning, but it was all for a great cause. Sounds like fun. I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. All right, well, thank you for your time. Absolutely. The Bengals and the Chiefs faced off for the AFC Championship, with the Bengals being down 21-10 at halftime, they made a comeback and managed to get ahead 24-21. At the end of the fourth quarter, the Chiefs managed to tie the game. They went into overtime, and despite the Bengals losing the corn toss, they pulled ahead and won the championship 27-24, and now are off to the Super Bowl. Last week, Several students from CCHS competed in the All-State Choir and Band competition. We interviewed Mr. Little and a senior about both competitions. I'm here with Mr. Little to talk about All-State Band. Now, Mr. Little, what is All-State Band? So All-State Band is um, probably like the highest achievement that band kid could get in the state of Kentucky. And so there's All-State Band and All-State Choir. They have to go through a couple rounds of auditions for band. And, uh, a couple auditions for choir, and if they're selected, they go down to the KMEA conference, which is this week in Louisville, 
And so they'll, they're actually going to leave tomorrow and they'll head down to Louisville. They'll rehearse for a few days with the best musicians in the state. And then on Friday night, uh, the high school choir gives a, their performance and Saturday afternoon the bands give their performance. It's an incredibly uh, competitive thing to, to get into. And so if you were to be selected, it is the pinnacle of what you can do in, in band and choir. Yeah, it's a pretty big deal. How many students are in this year? Or got so they, uh, in the band, they take about 150. Um, we have four uh, in the band. And then the choir, I'm not 100% familiar with, but it, I, we had quite a bit of quite, quite a few choir kids make it, quite a bit. Um, and they have different choirs that they can be a part of. So the bands have like a top band, a second band, and the choir have uh, multiple choirs that they can participate in. So yeah, we have a lot of kids representing Campbell County High School. It's pretty exciting. So Liam, what are the dates for the All State Choir? Um, well, we leave on Wednesday, February 2nd, and the actual concert is Friday, February 4th. But the concert starts at 7 p.m. on Friday. It's, it's in Louisville. It will be at uh, one of their concert venues. Nice. What exactly do you do at this concert? Well, at Allstate, so we go there on Wednesday and we rehearse for most of Wednesday and then most of Thursday. And then Friday we have half the day to rehearse, prepare our songs, make sure everything's ready for our concert Friday night. And then there's three separate choirs there. There's an all men's choir, an all female choir, and a mixed choir. And then each performs seven to eight songs at that concert. Nice, that's amazing. So I, I would just like to say congratulations to all the people involved and hope you all enjoy. Class scheduling is right around the corner. And recently, the media communications classes interviewed two seniors about their experiences. My name is David. Here at Kimball County High School, we offer many AP classes, and there's a lot of misconception that goes about with it. Um, sometimes they are super hard. Well, of course they are. They're college-level classes. But there are some that are not so difficult. For example, we have microeconomics. Microeconomics studies... Uh, interrelation between individuals in the economy. It's not super difficult, it's very vocab heavy, but we have an excellent teacher here, Mr. Goss, who can get you through that pretty easily. Now there's a lot of reasons to take microeconomics. Uh, number one is the pass rate is 94 percent. Almost everybody that takes it passes. We also offer a lot of opportunities out of school, such as Governor's School of Ec Entrepreneurship. The Governor's School of Entrepreneurship is uh, sort of like GSP and GSA, but it's much easier to get into. And it also provides you the same benefits. Hi, my name is Anna, and I have taken AP Micro in the past, and I'm currently enrolled in AP Macro and Financial Literacy. To everyone who is apprehensive about taking an AP class, especially AP Microeconomics, which is a topic that's not taught in any level of school before now, um, I'd just like to tell you that Mr. Goss makes a lot of time towards helping people who are having trouble, such as staying after school or even providing extra credit assignments through Twitter that you can raise your grade even if you don't do so well on a quiz. And for anyone who's apprehensive of even just trying AP Micro when they haven't even done Econ in the past, um, think about like how you decide what your favorite ice cream flavor is. You don't know until you try it. And I think that's something really important to remember when you're considering what AP courses you want to take. Updates. Congrats to Tatum Modest and Charlie Wells on competing at the KHSAA State Singles Bowling Tournament. The CCHS Boys Basketball Team has their senior night on February 10th versus Ryle. The CCHS girls basketball team has senior night on Monday, February 14th versus Pendleton County. The wrestling team competes this weekend at Regions at Simon County. Good luck to the Fallen Camels who will be competing at this year's state swim and dive competition. Grace Hedger, Abby Natale, Elijah Wells, Carter Gerst, Morgan Reynolds, and Luke Deacon. Good luck Camels. Sound design is a new class that will be offered at CCHS. Mr. Little joined us to discuss the new class. Mr. Little, and I'm here to ask him about his new sound design class. 
So what is this new sound design class? So this is a class that's open to sophomores through seniors, um, and not just band or choir kids, open to anyone that wants to learn more about sound production. So that would include um, microphone design, how do you, how to, like the hardware side of it, so how to use a soundboard, how to use microphones, how to record, what do you do on the software side of it to um, record, to edit, to, to master, those kind of things, and then this will be um, we'll come at it from a music standpoint, but also from like a, like a media, just a general media standpoint as well. So you'll use some software that doesn't require you to know how to read music. So it's like garage band kind of stuff where you can lay tracks and overlay things to create finished products. And so we'll, we'll talk about it from music, we'll talk about it from like news production. Um, we've talked preliminary to Campbell County Media uh, and doing some uh, kind of co-op kind of things with them throughout the year. Uh, it's brand new, so we're, you know, we're kind of designing it right now. And so sign up for it, it's really exciting. You'll be a part of something completely different than we've offered in our music program before. Uh, it's open to band kids, non-band kids, choir kids, non-choir kids, anybody that wants to learn how to record, how to produce. Um, it, it, we'll use our school laptops and we'll have some software on there that we'll learn how to use and then we'll talk about some of the more expensive equipment and we'll use some of the equipment in the auditorium and how do we design those those sound palettes and things that you can do for recording and producing. That'll be what it is. The CCHS media communication classes have been working on video projects this year and we wanted to share those projects with you. Please enjoy the nap and a Camel's Media Minute introducing our new math teacher, Mr. Lawrence. Brady, Brady, come on. Brady, we gotta go. If you don't go to the next class, you're gonna get expelled. Come on. My office now. I'm the very Gillespie, and I'm with Mr. Lawrence, and I'm going to ask him a few questions today. Is this your first year teaching? It is my first year teaching here at Campbell County, yes. What's your favorite part about teaching at Kimball County? I would say it's definitely the environment. Um, I have a great staff to work with. Mr. Boone and Ms. Dawson have been awesome. Um, Mr. Answerer as well. And then all the teachers here. Uh, they welcomed me with open arms and made it a good environment to teach for my first year. So. Interesting. In your opinion, what's the best part about teaching? I would say making connections with the kids. Um, every kid comes from a different background. Everyone's got a different story to tell. So. I always make sure to include that in my class and get to know them a little bit better, and that usually helps me um, teach the content a little bit, a little bit easier to them. So. Okay, that's it. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Nevada Gillespie. This has been your Camel Media Minute. Thank you for your time. This has been your Camel's News for this week. The media communication classes always appreciate you watching, and as always, show your Camel pride.